We're looking at a pair of earbuds or in-ear monitor from a company called Botio. There are a lot of these no-name brand headphones on Amazon these days. And I picked this one out because frankly, it kind of looked nice in the pictures. And so here it is, a quick review. It comes in a very nice paper box. It has this um, tear up opening, which I actually like because it makes it easier. And honestly, nobody keeps the box anyway. So it's a very, eco-friendly kind of packaging. Uh, the inside comes with a bunch of things. So we have now kind of started, I guess Anchor started this, but always some kind of customer satisfaction card um, menu. So it has probably the medium size earbuds on, and then it comes with uh, two other pairs. So it's pretty standard. This little soft PU um, leather pouch and synthetic pouch actually very nice. It's, it's soft, so I totally see uh, myself actually using this to carry the earbuds. So that that's a good plus. You know, sometimes they come with these cheap cases that doesn't look good and uh, doesn't feel good. So this one, you can see that you put this in, throw it in the backpack. Totally makes sense. I'm using this mostly with iOS devices. We um, um, we are a Mac family. So since I have an iPhone 8, I'm going to be using the lightning adapter to play music. Um, the cable is quite nice, regular thickness. It's a little bonus that it comes with a little clip here. So you can shorten the, the Y section, right? So make it wear tighter and less dangling. It does not come with a shirt clip, however. The headphones themselves looks good it's metal on the back i think and a little plastic in the front um, the wire looks reasonably sturdy uh, so that's a good thing and i always like this when they mark the left and right very clear so that you don't have to hunt for it so this is right this is where the control is pretty standard control volume and then play pause in the middle uh, unfortunately as we tried it uh, with the lightning adapter or just plugging into my iPad or something else, the volume buttons does not operate the iOS or the OS X devices. Um, so let's plug it in and see how, how it sounds. So let's talk about sound. How does it sound? It sounds actually very, very good with zero burning. So I just run it through my standard playlist of headphone test songs. Um, Despite the fact that somehow this is labeled um, shock bass, it is not super bassy, which is actually a good thing for me. Uh, if you're looking for these headphones that are tuned that's so heavy on the bass, and this is probably not it, the bass is good, but not overdone. Uh, because if it's overdone, frankly, with tracks, it just gets distorted. Um, so my standard test track for bass is the um, A Thousand Year by Sting. In the beginning, it has a lot of synthetic very low frequency bass and it, it sounded fine. It wasn't crazily boosted. On the other part of the, the, the spectrum, the highs are slightly compressed, but again, this is brand new and not burning. I would expect it to open up a little bit, but a quick listen through all my tracks. It's totally pleasant and usable. One last thing is on the sound quality. So the controller piece has a mic in it and I, you know, usually just record a couple little bit of audio with it to see what it sounds like and again it sounds fine so you can probably use this for taking phone calls as well so the only negative you know at least for me is the volume button doesn't work so i have to use the phone or whatever um, the built-in buttons on the phones or whatever and um, also notice that these are ported at least it looks like they are there's a hole here on um, the side of the the earpiece which probably helps the sound quality as well uh, in general the sound is fair um, you know, what I usually compare to this to, it's my pair of Klipsch X11, right? So don't forget, this thing costs 10 times to this. It is better, yes, it is better, but it's not 10 times better. So in terms of affordable, you know, I wouldn't, don't want to say it, but you know, throw away um, headphones, um, these are great, right? If this lasts a year, two, it, it, it's already well-earned um, the money you spend on it. And if it goes beyond that, it, it's gonna be great. But otherwise, I think this is a very nice, good-sounding, affordable headphones.
In fact, the build quality is very good, so this should last. So I recommend these.